I'm Nicole Griffin bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. IMPD is now in phase two of testing gunshot detection systems with the hope of reducing officer response times. Three vendors have now installed their systems in a five square mile area on the east side. The area has seen more than 40 homicides since 2020. Metro police say they're collecting data from all of them and will work with IUPUI to determine which works best at pinpointing gunfire. Residents in the area say it can't come soon enough. Last month, Terry Martinez woke up to take her dog outside and found a woman's body in front of her home. She says her and her neighbor's patience with crime is running thin. Gunfire. Last night we heard people yelling, like arguing. I don't know where it was coming from. It sounded like the other street from us. Um, we hear gunfire just about every night, though. IMPD says these systems are not a replacement for 911 calls. If you hear gunshots, you should still call for police. The criminal case filed against the only man licensed by DC Comics to build replica Batmobiles is ending. As you may recall, Mark Raycup of Logansport had his shop raided in early August by deputies from San Mateo County in California. The deputies were sent after a customer in California complained that, the, that Raycup accepted his payment but moved him to the end of the wait list. Raycup was facing charges for obtaining money by false pretenses and diversion of construction funds. Those have now been dropped. Raycup says the customer lost contact with him and missed payments, so he moved him to the end of the line, which is his policy. In this case came to light after our ABC station in San Francisco investigated a whistleblower tip from someone inside the sheriff's office. That tip claimed that the sheriff decided to investigate because he and the customer are friends. Indiana Task Force 1 has been activated to help in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. Commander Tom Neal says a team of 48 people and two canines left around 10 a.m. Tuesday and will stage in Alabama. Duke Energy is also sending manpower. More than 130 workers from Indiana will help restore power once it is safe to do so. Hurricane Ian is expected to take direct aim at Florida's west coast on Wednesday.